I have a brother, Electronit KH950i knitting machine and a brother, KG95 garter carriage. I'm going to show you how to do a cast on. The instruction manual for the G carriage for the Electronit 950 is actually incorrect. So I was finding it extremely difficult to do an automatic cast on with this garter carriage and uh, eventually I figured it out so I thought I'd post this video just to help others. Now I'm using the instruction manual for the garter carriage and I'm using the Stitch World pattern book for my machine. I have already put in the yarn that I'm going to be using. Now I have set the tension for three and we will set the row count now for one. When you're having a look at the buttons, the um, the switches, that's how the switches need to be. And my brother machine is now on, so you can see it's in the on position. I've plugged everything in, so it's got power, the garter carriage has got power. I've actually selected all my needles that I'm going to be using. I've put in the G cams already on either side. We lift up over here. At the moment it's sitting on number one, which is going to be the first row. Now I'm going to program the cast on stitch. And I'm going to show you now which pattern I'm going to use for doing the cast on stitch. You can refer to your instruction manual on casting on, but as I said, when it says using the KH950i, yes, you do need it to be in mode 990. Then you push the memory key. But the pattern number that you see there, 901, you cannot use that pattern number. Instead, you are going to use pattern number 537. And this will be able to give you the cast on that you need for your garter carriage. The yarn is threaded. All I've done is I've actually just taken a table weight and put a table weight at the bottom of the yarn. And now I'm just going to push, well, just lift it up slightly just to move it across. There we go. Push the start button, which is the green one. Now it is on its fastest speed at the moment. And I'm also just going to hold the yarn at the bottom. Once it started knitting, which it has now, we're doing the cast on. Don't worry about holding the yarn, you just leave it as is and it'll do it all by itself. Now it's finishing up on the end, so it's finishing up on the first row. And remember that this is actually going to count down. So once it's finished the row, then goes to triple zero and then we'll switch off. But I'm stopping it right now. Right, now that it's stopped, the next step is going to be to program it as to what you would like it to do. So we've done our cast on, so we can actually take these switches and switch them over. Alright, so now they are now switched over. The next is I'm going to select which rib I'd like to do. Now I'm going to be doing this pattern number over here. This rib is 532. So I'm going to program 532 in. So you're going to be pushing the M button. 532. Pushing M again. It's all ready to go. Push 1 CF to make sure that it's on the first row. The next step is I'm going to need to hang my comb. So this is the comb here. This type of comb.
and it's going to be quite tricky because I'm trying to film and do it at the same time so you would actually just take the comb like so put it over all the stitches and then drop down the important one on this side over here is you're going to then lift it so it just comes out around to the front over there I can't do it whilst I'm holding the camera so I'll be bringing it so that the the yarn actually comes out to the front of the comb and on the other side I'll be basically doing the same thing so that will just come out to the front all right and then we'll be ready to go and we'll be pushing the green button and off we go right the comb is on the two weights are on either side and the next step is just then going to be pushing the green button and that will start knitting my rib and that's pretty much my cast on the way I do it so this is the cast on once it's finished to the other side I'm then going to set how many rows I want to do for a rib and for me I'm doing 35 rows for the rib once the rib is completed I then actually take what pattern I'm going to use, put it into the Brother 950, push start and off we go and it will continue doing the pattern. It's coming to the end of the first row and because I've got the row counter as one, it will get to the end of the first row and we'll switch off automatically. Now I've kept the tension for my rib is three because I've already knitted another piece and the tension I had is three which is, is, is a bit loose so it should have actually been less but because I'm doing another panel I'm going to then just leave it on three. I'm going to then set to 35. Now that it's set to 35, just push the green button and off we go. So the garter carriage will continue until it counted down from 35 and then we'll stop automatically. Now I've estimated this is going to take about an hour to do 35 rows. So all I do now is I'm going to be leaving it alone and checking up every now and again to make sure that it's doing it properly.